Hi, welcome to a video on how to use QuizEase to assign homework to your students. So you will go to QuizEase.com and sign up if you haven't done so. I have signed up, so I'll, leave, I'll just log in to my uh, Gmail. So log in to quiz is as as a teacher right log in with gmail um, as a teacher and you will come to this menu here um, have a look at that you can opt to create a new quiz or to save time just find a quiz from the search bar here um, and then just type the keywords for uh, punctuation maybe And there you go, you'll have uh, choices of quiz on punctuation. Have a look at it, and then uh, you can see how many questions are there. Uh, just look at this one. Have a look at this, because it's third to fifth grade. Okay, the question seems to be okay. I mean, uh, suitable to my students' level. You can have a look at the answers by showing it here. Okay, and I'm happy with this. And click on the homework. Uh, if you want to play it in a class, you can play live in, uh, in the classroom. Okay, but for now, because I'm going to show you how to uh, assign homework using this uh, Quizzes app. Uh, so just click on the homework you'll get this uh, uh, choices here when do you want it to be completed you can change that uh, have a look at the settings here change if you want to i'm happy with that i'll just proceed and um, there are options, different options to share this assignment with your students. Well, my favorite will be will have to be Google Classroom because we're using it uh, uh, in our school. Assignment title, punctuation. Uh, um, click on the correct. Situation. Okay, this, you can schedule it now or you can change it. And um, wait, oh, oh, don't forget that you have to click on the course which which uh, classroom you want to assign it to, and click on assign. <coughs> then it will be shared. On the Google Classroom right successful let's have a look at the point of view of your student when they sign into their classroom this is just an example so you will see the uh, link uh, the uh, link to quiz is now what they have to do is just open, click on the link for quiz is right. Make sure that they are signed in to their correct uh, student email and just start with the quiz. So this is how it look like. Okay, may I borrow a pencil? Question mark. The points there and the cute uh, 
mem mean I had fish for dinner last night. Mm. Stuff. Then you can proceed with answering the questions until it's right. Now I'm on the eight questions. Uh, where is my pencil? Let's see if it's a wrong answer. Just want to see how it looks like that. How it might see. Okay, they will show the correct answer if you got a wrong answer. Disgusting. And the final question. Question 11. Did you brush your teeth? Question mark. And I'm done with all the questions. And all done. Now, as a student, you can see your points, the accuracy, and your live rank if you have others playing the course. And you can review the questions. Uh, what? Why did I get it wrong? And okay, so the correct answers are given. So this is wonderful for self-review. When you're done, you can just exit the game. Exit. And yeah, that's it. And from the point of view of teacher, now uh, you can see that it's uh, automatically done once you are finished with uh, the quiz is. Okay, so you don't have to, to click on anything done or anything like that. Uh, now I want to I want to show you, um, uh, what do you call this? From the point of view of the point of view of a teacher, how it looks like from the point of view of teacher. Now, um, okay. So my student has uh, completed, and you will see that there's one completed uh, assignment from my student. Okay, you can review, click on their report. Players report will be automatically um, generated here. So this is just wonderful. It's uh, self-corrections, self-corrected for you, self-graded. And you can see the scores and response, how many seconds and so on, All right? And the great thing about that is you can return um, or uh, return this, um, what do you call this, the report to your student, okay? It will be sent to their email or um, Google Classroom, okay? And it's returned. Uh, let's have a look at how it looks like from the other side, at a student's uh, perspective. Okay, this is student's uh, Google Classroom. Oh, it's returned. So click and open. Click on the correct manager. Okay, so this is your work. I mean, this is what I have done. So have a look at that. And the report or the grade is shown here. And this is good for record keeping and uh, quick feedback without uh, losing lots of time for corrections and all. Okay, that's all for uh, today's video. I hope you can start using quizisreport.com. Uh, quizis, uh, Thank you. Bye-bye.